Every year, hundreds of thousands of the worldwide patients who suffer from neurological diseases and disorders, including Parkinson's disease and treatment-resistant epilepsy, opt to have hardware implanted in their brains. The implants monitor and sometimes stimulate the brain in order to address serious health challenges by modifying brain activity. However, there is significant room for improvement for these implants. Both patient experience and clinical outcomes could be vastly improved if future generations of brain implants could leverage new technological advances to make them thinner, lighter, more flexible, and with higher resolution. The new deep brain recording and stimulation electrode from the Integrated Electronics and Biointerfaces Laboratory of Electrical Engineering and Professor Shadi Daya at the University of California, San Diego, is the most advanced human-compatible deep brain electrode to date. It's called the UCSD Micro SEEG electrode. It is ultra-thin and flexible. It has 128 microelectrodes which record brain activity. It also has 16 macroelectrodes that stimulate the brain with tiny pulses of electric current. This electrode is incredibly thin, just one-fifth the width of a human hair, and is highly flexible. The UCSD Micro SEEG is a two-way traffic system, one way for recording the brain activity and another way for stimulating the brain, all insulated by a series of six biocompatible polyemide layers with a total width of 1.2 millimeters. Interleaved metal layers route the signals from the 128 recording and 16 stimulation contacts, while encompassing polyemide layers provide both biocompatible, electrical insulation, and mechanical stability during implantation. The UCSD Micro SEEG can record neuronal signals with microcontacts and stimulate neurons using macro contacts with clinically acceptable levels. At over 10 centimeters long, the UCSD Micro SEEG reaches deep brain structures, rivaling the mechanical stability of today's bulkier clinical electrodes and enabling it to be used for the monitoring and treatment of epilepsy and deep brain stimulation. To implant it, a stylet is inserted between the electrode's polyemide layers, making it temporarily rigid to be compatible with current surgical and clinical protocols. After implantation, the stylet is retracted, leaving the flexible thin film in the brain, minimizing damage. Its lightweight and flexibility ensure high-quality recordings without motion artifacts, as it moves with the brain's natural pulsations. When recording and stimulation are complete, it can be easily removed perfectly intact due to its robust material properties. And because the UCSD Micro SEEG is very thin, the incision that it makes in the brain tissue is much smaller than the incision made by current clinical electrodes. While the electrode's main use is currently to address intractable epilepsy, this new electrode may benefit applications for movement disorders, obsessive-compulsive disorder, obesity, treatment-resistant depression, high-impact chronic pain, and other disorders.